Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's drink of choice is San Pellegrino. This is the tangerine and wild strawberry. I'm announcing my drink as if I do this in every video. I don't, but thought I'd share with, <laughs> with you what I'm drinking. I like these because they have that little protective, like rat poop wasn't sitting on the top of your can protection. So get on into it today. I wanted to go over five things I've learned since using LECA. And I get so many questions on LECA versus soil and how did I get into LECA and what do I do with LECA? There are quite a bit of videos and itch circling YouTube that explain to you just exactly how to use LECA, what you need for your nutrient water, how to transition a plant from soil to LECA, uh, how to flush a plant. That's not what this video is gonna be about. It's not a how-to video. It's just pretty much some things that I've learned since using LECA. So if you're new to it, you can kind of take these things and roll with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, first, I wanna say thank you for not even calling me out on taking a break last week. <laughs> you know, I always think like people are gonna be so disappointed when I don't post a video and then it's like crickets. And it's like, oh, they don't care. Thank you. They don't care. I was just having a week. I didn't have any pre recorded um, videos. I rarely pre record my videos, if you haven't noticed. It's usually recorded and then posted the day after or a couple days after. I've had quite a bit of things going on, <laughs> one of which our podcast, Potted Together, me, Adam, and Becca, launched a few weeks ago. So I've been kind of preoccupied with that and like the social media aspect of it. I've been engulfed. It's been really fun to just kind of watch it grow. So I just want to say thank you for everybody that's listened already. And if you haven't, Potted Together on any podcast platform that you listen to. You should be able to find it. You should be able to find it. Just saw a cobweb on my burly marks, but it's from a regular spider because there's no spider mites, right? No. <laughs> Woo. So let's get into these five things, shall we? I wrote them down because I forget what I ate a couple hours for breakfast, let alone remembering my five things. First and foremost, you do not need a net pot. And if you're into LECA and you already have kind of dived into the world of LECA, you'll know what a net pot is. That is this, this pot here that you put your plant in so that the water sits in the reservoir. This definitely makes it easier when it comes time to like flush your plant out because then you don't have to unpot the plant, but you don't need this to use LECA. So if you didn't want to get these, you really don't have to. When you do flushes, you'll just have to take it out of the LECA, check the roots through, which you should be doing anyway every couple of months, and um, repot it up, which is quite easy when you're working with LECA. The key to that though, do not fill your water solution up past the roots. You just want to use, like, you want to make sure your roots are about an inch to two inches above the bottom of the pot so that there's that water reservoir at the bottom so the LECA can do its thing by using capillary action to soak up the water, the nutrient water to its root system. You don't want the roots sitting in stagnant water because it could cause root rot. And let's just take a second, shall we? to admire this beautiful Monstera Adansonii. This is the one that I got from Green Space ID uh, back in November of 2019, and it came in as this big plant. <laughs> Go back and watch that video if you, if you shall wish to. It was actually bigger than this, and it lost all of its leaves except for one. That one trooper brought this plant back to life. And it loves LECA. Adansonii's love LECA. Um, I have another one over here. Let's see, see it in the corner there? Hi, little guy. So they love it. They, I feel like all Monsteras love it. I have a Deliciosa in LECA. I have a Siltipacana in LECA. So Monsteras, oh, Monstera Peru is in LECA. They like it, 
They like it. Okay, my next thing is once you get the nutrient measurements down and you have your gallon of water or your vessel, which whatever you hold your water in, once you get that nutrient level down, you don't really have to, to test the pH. Um, it's going to be the same every time for the most part. I tested it the first few weeks that I did my solution. So I, I usually water, I usually find myself having to top off my water every two weeks or so. And for the first probably month and a half, so four water schedules, I tested the pH and it was literally exactly the same. Every time I made a new batch of nutrient water, you don't have to test it every single time. If you want to, go right ahead. But I found that I really don't have to. Once I got my measurements down and I kind of knew what I was doing, you get the hang of it, you get into a routine, you really don't have to test the pH. I would say maybe do it like maybe once every six months. Your tap water, if you're using tap water, is affected in some way and that water changes. I live in the city of Chicago and we have a pretty consistent filtered water system out here. So I really don't have to worry about my tap water. My tap water actually is better to drink than some bottled waters which is crazy. What we did use the pH kit for was to test our alkaline in our water, which was kind of fun, fun experiment to do. So yeah, you don't really need to test the pH, I say. Number three, believe it or not, cactus will grow in Lekka. I was shook by this. Um, I was sent this cactus from Adrian Wallflower District over on Instagram. She also has an Etsy shop, so go check her out. This cactus here, she sent it to me. This is about three times the size it, it was when she sent it to me. And she was like, listen, I'm experimenting with a cactus in Lekka. She's like, I'm going to give you one. I have two of them. I think she had two of them. Maybe she gave me her only one. And if that's true, you're a real one, Adrian. They are totally happy in Lekka. I think it's, I think I may have gotten lucky. I think it may be a trial and error thing with a lot of cacti. This one happened to have a pretty decent root system to begin with, um, which brings me on to my next point. Fine roots or very shallow root rooted plants are very difficult and touchy to do in Lekka, which is why I thought like a lot of cactus may, may be hard because maybe some don't have a substantial root system, but that could go with any plant. A couple of plants I've tested Lekka out on and it didn't work were like strings of things, string of hearts, string of bananas, string of pearls. All those plants did not enjoy Lekka. And I just think that it's because their root system is so fine that it may be too aerated for it. Lekka, it, the one thing that's great about Lekka is that it allows more air into the root system of the plant. So let's look at this one. My burly marks. Whoa. <laughs> ah! And my microphone fell. So the thing with Lekka, if you can see, you know, the tiny Lekka balls here, is that they, it's not like soil. It's not compacted like soil. It allows a whole lot more air into the roots of your plants, which we all know plants like and need. That's why with aeroids or even cactus and succulents, they like that chunky mix of soil. And the reason they like that chunky mix of soil is because the chunkiness, like the orchid bark or whatever you're putting in there to make it more chunky, lava stone, whatever, is going to break up the soil and not make it as compact when you water it. It's going to leave some airflow in the soil. And they need that because they like that. I don't know why. Ask the plants, ask the root systems. That's why Lekka is so great for a lot of aeroids, really, because they absolutely love it. And I guess the reason I didn't think that cactus would like it is because cactus are just, you think of water sitting at the bottom and they're not really humidity loving plants. Like cactus and stuff really, they thrive more in the desert. So I guess the whole stigma behind like, oh, it's con constant water in there, you know, um, it's going to be too moist. It's going to be too humid is just false. They like it. Last, but certainly not least, one thing I have learned on my Lekka journey is I definitely love Lekka. 
more than soil? I mean, come at me in the comments. Come at me in the comments. I just really do. I really enjoy LECA more than soil. And maybe it's because it's cleaner. Um, all of my cactus, except for that one I just showed you, are still in soil. I have cactus gardens, euphorbias, um, all my strings of things. I still have quite a few plants in soil. But I would say that aside from my cactus collection, which takes up about 50% of my collection, I think, um, most of my plants are in LECA. And it's just, I like the fact that it's reusable. You can just wash it and put it back in the box, let it dry out, um, and use it again, as long as like, obviously your plant was pest free. It's just really clean. You have to clean it when you first get it. You have to rinse all the powdery residue off of the LECA. But after that, you know, after you pre-rinse all of it, it pretty much stays clean. So it's, it's, you know, you're not getting your hands dirty. It's just easy. It's easier to pot a plant in LECA, I feel, than it is in soil. I don't know. I just, there's something I just enjoy about it. The one thing I don't really like is having to rinse all of the roots off. Like if a plant's coming from soil and you're transferring it into LECA, that's not really my favorite thing because it takes a while, especially with Hoya. Like, ooh, it's kind of difficult. I just, I don't know. There's something about it that I just enjoy. I would love to know if you guys are into LECA and if you prefer LECA over soil, if you really are impartial to either. I just love hearing other people's perspectives on it to see if they match up with mine or to see if there's something that you like that maybe I hate. I think it's so much fun just to see like what other people like. So definitely leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know. And that is all for this video. I was gonna do 10 things, but I couldn't come up with 10 things. Let me know if you wanna see a part two to this. Maybe I'll come up with another five things. I just, I don't know, I think it's great. And I wonder why LECA took so long to come into the plant realm. Cause it's been around for a while. So I don't know why it took us so long to pick up on it. But anyway, thanks so much guys. I appreciate you watching this video today. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing also, if you're new here, hi. Be sure to follow me over on Instagram at my clean leaves. I do post a lot of things over there. It's kind of like I post a lot. <laughs> I post a lot in my stories. So if you want to kind of see what I'm up to on a day-to-day -day basis, that's definitely the place to do it. And don't forget, if you want to hear me and my friends hang out once a week and chat about plants and other things, be sure to follow Potted Together at Potted Together on Instagram. And we also have a YouTube channel, which I'll have linked in the description below. We're gonna be doing collabs. We have our first collab planned for YouTube and I'm really excited. And this is the first collab we're doing from a distance because we don't live in the same states. We now all officially live in different states. <laughs> which is so sad, but that's okay. Thank God for technology. All right, guys, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm. You have a new little leaf coming in. <gasps> yes, you do. You just don't stop growing. A little parched. I don't know if I like this shirt or not. I can't like really decide. I got some clothes when I was in Arizona and this was one of them and I ended up bringing it home. I think I wore it home by mistake. I was like, oh yeah, I have that striped shirt. I just don't know if I like it. I love a good button down though. Ooh, I have a cactus one I should wear in my next video. Why am I talking about clothes? I don't know. Okay.